Ironman is the world's leading brand. Their triathlons are the ultimate test of endurance and the pinnacle of the sport, with the swim, bike, run race of a combined distance of over 226 kilometers. Each year before the event starts, Ironman tests conditions for each section of the triathlon. The long, stunning expanse of the front strand adjacent to Yawl Harbour is the location for the swim race for Ironman at Yawl. It was on this stretch of beach that roughly 2,000 participants launched into the water as part of Ironman Yawl 2023. The fact that two men tragically died in the race has led to searching questions about the decision to proceed with the swim race and if participants were sufficiently warned about the dangers. While the cause of the two men's deaths is not yet known, the decision to proceed with the swim race here in rough sea conditions involving 2,000 competitors is now the cause of controversy. The waves were crashing so high they were driving people back into rocks. I only made it about 200 metres out and it was a very big swell and I was looking around me, I started to panic. I attempted to get up to the boy, another girl who was very distressed off to the left. She was uncontrollably crying so... I, I decided that I would just swim over and console her, and she was very, very distressed. Jura Prendergast, an experienced triathlete, was at Yule this year. While waiting to start the full-distance event, he observed the half-distance athletes enter the water first. As soon as they got in, they just seemed to scatter everywhere. Um, usually when you're watching a swim, um, there'd be like a train of swimmers, you know, a nice straight line of swimmers. And that's what you'd like to see. But in this case, they just seemed to scatter everywhere. And uh, a lot of people got brought back to shore as well. Uh, a lot of people couldn't really get past the first few waves. Um, so there was a, a lot of people struggling. The race course requires that swimmers first turn right against the current towards a red buoy. People couldn't swim off to the right because the current was too strong. I suppose the issue for a lot of people was that they just weren't strong enough and experienced enough to get to the red buoy. In this amateur footage filmed by an onlooker, it shows that there were concerns about swimmers being able to get past the first buoy shortly after the race began. I think it's fair to say that some of them won't make the first buoy at this point. <laughs> Members of the crowd also point out that one swimmer in trouble is calling for help. That athlete has put the hand up. <laughs> Jura witnessed many swimmers who couldn't complete the course being rapidly taken out of the water. So normally you would see maybe one person get dropped back by a boat. And um, while I was standing there watching the race unfold, there was a, obviously it was quite chaotic and it was like boatloads of people, like four and five, getting off the rib, getting dropped back. So a lot more than you would usually see. people are still saddened and shocked that two men died in the race in an event which until this year had brought such joy and good news to the town. Everybody felt it, you know, the town really did feel it for everybody, for those families and for those, you know, yeah. so it was tough, it was tough. Perhaps in the future you know, if it goes ahead next year there's a lot of doubt hanging over the town maybe in terms of will the event go ahead having lived abroad I've watched other Ironman events take place in other parts of the world so it can happen anywhere, but it's just, I suppose, two deaths you really do feel for the family and for the town. What people don't realise is this is an extreme sport too. Like, I still play a bit of rugby, and, like, if you if you break your neck playing a rugby match, like, you're playing rugby, like, you know? It's the same with an extreme sport. So, like, kind of people know what they're getting into too, but at the same time, our sympathies with the family. Are you a regular here? I'm on this beach every day. That morning, it was really, really rough given the conditions that were prevailing that it didn't seem very wise to go ahead and that's what people think and why did it go ahead um, I know there's a big dispute going on about the whole situation uh, to a layman like me it just seemed I wouldn't have got in the water that morning certainly not In the immediate aftermath controversy erupted between the event organiser Ironman and Triathlon Ireland the national governing body of triathlons 